folks this is survive with marty and we're going to play a brand new game to the channel today which i played on and off for a little while it's called ostrieve it's a city building and management game just the types of games i enjoy uh and we're going to get straight into it we've literally built the camp which is our starter camp and what we're going to do next is build the very first building that we need which is a forestry we're going to rotate that and make it look make it look real nice there and then we're going to build in some housing with gardens because you know we want people to have somewhere nice to live here and you know a little bit of gardens not going to hurt them so what's that that's four five we need nine i think six seven eight nine i think that's right now eventually the forestry will get removed and this will become more town but for now this is our start uh let's 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 run time. Here we go. Oh, I have forgot one thing. One very, 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 very important thing, which is a clay pit. And I use that to build pretty much everything in the game. Um, I don't really want it in the way, though. I'd rather have it out the way. And I don't know if I can do that without it being... Um, no, I think... I think I can do it. Do you need clay? You do not. Fantastic, so you can build that and then they can build the clay pit without any issues. That is that's what we like to know. Is there anyone unemployed at the minute? There are three men looking two men looking for a job. That's fine. They can go straight into here as soon as it's built. Come on. A little bit more. Fantastic. One, two. So now there should only be no one unemployed. Oh, one unemployed. Uh, we'll put him in there. Anyone else unemployed? Nope. So we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lovely. The men are employed. Yeah, you're missing clay. That's because the clay pit needs to get built, actually. Well, hopefully they'll start taking stuff taking building mats to the other places that need to get built who knows we'll see what they do this is a brand new update to the game this is version 4 there you know these houses these houses with gardens did not exist before so this is all new which is fantastic i like new things new things are awesome we still have five trees to remove come on guys let's be a bit smart about this let's get the next one removed Look, don't don't make it into anything yet because we need to remove the trees before we make it into stuff. Yeah. This is going to put us behind a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? Look, don't have a rest. Do as you're told. Get rid of these trees. Sometimes I do wonder about people. Um, so what we're going to do. This is a tip that was recommended to me by... A guy called Pat Moss uh, from his videos. He puts benches outside all of the houses because it gives the people somewhere to rest and it it helps out. I'm not sure exactly how it helps out. I just know it's good to do. So therefore we'll do it. So yeah. Yeah. There we go. Next one. Lovely. Next next and last one. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's get get rid of that. Right, how many more trees? Two trees to remove. Come on. They are being really slow at this. Really slow. Still two trees. Well, actually, once they're... Well, I wish you could just remove trees yourself, but this game does not allow you to do that. There's no landscaping tools. So we do what we do. We do the best we can do here. Come on. Right, go chop a tree. Yes, fantastic. That's not chopping a tree. Waiting. F no, they're going to chop a tree now, are they? Yes, there we go. Clay pit's now built. Fantastic. Which means these houses can get rocking and rolling. Fantastic. Look at that. See, look at look at the progress they're making now. They're flying through this house. 
Look at that. Bedrooms, kitchen, you know, it's all being built. Living room, I guess. So they put a window on the inside, not the outside. That's fine. The living room has no windows, apparently, unless that's the bedrooms. That would make sense that they wouldn't have windows. I don't know. We will find out in time what is what and where is where. It looks like that's the living room because that looks like the fireplace has just been built in there. Oh, fantastic. What a building. What a team. What a fantastic team of builders. Just look at that coordination. There we go. Look at that. Roof is on and they are f finished. And they even got a garden. Look at that. And she is doing the garden. She's done the garden. Well done. Alright, on to the next one. We got eight families to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need one more. Um, I forget. There's a button to do quick flipping, and I can't remember. I can't remember which one. Is it Y? No. E? No. W, no. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll do it how we know how to do it, which is um, I'll make that a slightly bigger house because it's right on the waterfront. It might as well have the biggest house it can have. There we go. I want some of the ones at the back to be done first because of where they are. So it makes more sense to work further away from the resources and then work work forward basically. Yeah, we're building houses as fast as we can. As fast as our people will build houses, they're being built. Literally. Our people are building non-stop here. Non-stop. Look at this. This is a beautiful, slightly different design to that one, I think. Yeah, look. Looking at it. Look at these window shutters. They've got ornate little drawings on. And they're growing stuff in their gardens. What a game. It is just absolutely staggeringly fantastic, this game. Uh, and every update it just gets better and better and better and better and better and well I'm blown away by this update that's all there is to be said it's fantastic so yeah this will be a new se series on the channel this game is called Ostrieve it's an indie game I think it's 20 20 pounds probably 20 dollars on the I don't know what the pound to dollar conversion is right now off the top of my head but it is fairly cheap for an indie game that is in development constantly. Uh, it was originally done by one guy. Um, I believe there's some helpers on it now. Um, but what a game. What a game. I mean, just look at, look at this, you know? Intricate, the building here. I mean, what other game would you get this level of detail? I'm sure there are others, but really, I mean, this is just insane absolutely insane but you know that's what that's why I'm playing it because I like the game it's a good game don't need a better reason than that to uh, to play the game other than it is a good game it is well 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 worth the money um, I bought this when it was pre steam you know before it even released on steam um, and back then you had to literally, I think it was on Humble Bundle, you had to literally go there every time there was an update, download the update. You know, it wasn't like Steam where you auto-update the game all the time. So, um, yeah, props to this this team, you know. What a fantastic job they've done with this game. And there, there's, there's a whole host of stuff yet to come. I mean, this patch, this patch gave us education. It gave us uh, the saltworks here. That's new. Um, obviously, the house with the gardens I mentioned is new. Um, that's just new stuff, you know. I think these two might be new as well. Yeah, I don't remember these before. And this is new. And this is new. The construction office. 
allows us to have more builders than just the default minimum. Um, and these icons are new. Uh, yeah, education is new. Um, healthcare, I guess, will be coming at some point. There's so much yet to come from this team, and it is just fabulous, you know? It's absolutely stonking the amount of work that they're doing on this. So, here we go. Um, oh, what I will put in, actually, before I forget is some charcoal pits because later on we're going to need to make our own nails and our own um our own resources and the best way to do that is to have charcoal i'm gonna have three of them and it's also a very good um thank you all right so they're yeah they're getting ready to go with charcoal that's lovely they're also getting these houses built. I mean, look at this, look at this, just. As I say, the level of detail, look, they've got a nice little walkway into their house. And uh, yeah, it's just, what have you got for windows? Got normal windows, what about you? You've got normal windows as well. And just, yeah, the level of detail, building, you know. Just can't beat it. You know, I've played lots of games. I've played Banished, I've played Foundation, uh, Dawn of Van, Planet Base, back in the days of early Civ, Anno 1602, very, very old game, but still very, very good. Um, do, 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 what else? Uh, Civ. The original Civ. Uh, what was the other game that was like Civ? I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, oh, it'll come to me. It's a game like Civ, but it's not Civ, basically. Colonization. There we go. I knew it was. Uh, I knew it was on the tip of my tongue there. Colonization. That was. Um, that was the other one that was like Civ. But so far. The detail in this one is probably one of the best. Certainly within the top 10 of these types of games. Certainly. It's August, we've still got five houses to build. Well, four once they get this one built. By December is when they have to be built by, because that's when the uh, the cold comes. If not, people move out and we, uh, we then don't have as many people in our town. Hopefully we won't get to that stage and we will have all families by the end of the month end of the year sorry four houses to go let's get them done people come on let's get them done Got charcoal being built lovely um, and once all of that is done at the end we will then put in a smithy to do our tailoring not our tailoring to do our um smithy bits you know to, to make to make our nails and stuff how close to that can we get bef before we uh there okay and after that we'll also need a factory because our people need to uh need to make thatch and we'll have that we had have that just here no we won't we'll have it somewhere Probably here actually, and they can just walk down to the down to the um, the waterfront. It's not exactly far, so I'll probably have that there. And then, as we're going to need to move the carts from where they currently are, we're going to need a new cart park, and we will have that on the side of the factory, I think, if we can. If it's not gonna if it's not gonna be too too much of a burden for it, I guess. It might be, I don't know. No, it should go there. Okay. Lovely. So we're going to have a new cart park as well. August going into September, and we're going to have three houses to go. September, October, November. They might get it done. Depends how quick they start on the next house. I kind of think that one needs. That is this. Yeah, that one needs to come in between those two. 
because it is further away than that one. So yeah, we'll, we'll do this one, then the further away one, then the close one. And then that's that done, and they will have places to live. Basically. What, is, what are they growing in this garden? Can't really tell at the minute. These guys got gardens yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe next year these guys will have gardens. You know, they should all have a garden. They've all got the ability to have a garden. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm hoping you like the channel so far. we got seven days. We've got subsistence. And we've now got Ostrieve. And we will probably have another game as well. I'm only going to do four, four games. Because, at a time. Um... Just because, A, I don't want to lose track of what I'm doing. Um, because if I that makes me look unprofessional if I lose track of what I'm doing. And you guys don't want to hear me um, make a lot of thinking noises and be not sure what I'm doing for the episode, basically. I try and start every episode with a clear goal in mind uh, going forward. So, like, when we play Seven Days, there will be a goal. And that goal, you know, and when we play Subsistence, there will be a goal. <coughs> I like to, I don't, <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There will be goals in mind. So the goal in mind on this episode is to get a functioning town and a farm. Um, so that we can at least be in a decent starting place for the next episode. And the goal for the next seven days episodes will be to um, skill up. Raid some buildings, skill up and extend the base a bit. And subsistence will be to get a functional base um, in its second episode. Because at the minute we just have a, a bit of wall. Uh, but again, it's one of those games that... It, uh, it takes a bit of time. Just like this one. This one takes a little bit of time. So I'll have this house built very soon and then they'll start on the next one. And they'll do all of that. Then where are we going to put the farm? The farm is quite important. Because that's going to be a really important building for us. Um, there it is. You know what? I'm thinking there. If I can. Uneven terrain. How, how far this way can I go? There. Alright, sweet. So the farm is going to... That's very difficult to see. But I think it's there. Yeah. Actually, let's take out that secondary bit because we're going to put a small arch there. You know, make it like a proper farm here. Make it look nice, you know, all safe and away from the main, uh, the main town. So we'll fence it off like that. And then we'll probably just tree line this gate. Or tree line this fence here. To make it uh, to make it a bit like a country lane type, you know, like you would find with a normal farm where you walk down a lane before you get to the farm. I'm talking about here specifically in the UK, folks. This is obviously different for uh, for other countries, but certainly here, this is how it works. There we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. And the last house is going up now, so no one's going to move out this year. No one's moving out this year. And what did you harvest from your garden? Um, raspberries, onions, and beetroots. Nice. What about you? Cabbage, carrots, and beetroot. Nice. Okay. Very nice. You obviously didn't do anything. You didn't. Yeah, none of these did anything, unfortunately. But you know, they have a They have the next year to do it, right? So, hey ho. So we've got that done, so now we need to start thinking about um, eventually a city hall and stuff, you know, and getting rid of all of this. So we'll need to get a fishing dock if we can. Where can we get a fishing dock? That's the question. Nowhere on the coast, by the looks of it. Can we get it on the other side? Oh, it's inaccessible, which is a shame. I don't really want to put it 
and that can't put it in the farm. So I guess it's going to have to go slightly out of town. Uh, wherever we can get it. There? There. Okay. Um, it's auto saving and hopefully it hasn't crashed on us. Because that would be really super annoying if it has. I think it has. I think it's crashed on us folks so uh, bear with me a minute. It has for Ostrev has crashed so bear with me one minute while we get this reloaded. Hopefully we haven't lost too much progress there. Well we really want Ostrev. Here we go continue and it crashed. Why? Ostrev load. Please don't tell me it crashed. Continue. It's just crashing. Okay, there's obviously an issue with the autosave, so we'll have to do it as a manual load. Sorry about this, folks. So when can we load from? We can load from two minutes ago. Okay. So, it's, yeah, we're back to... Um, for some reason, you guys aren't seeing this on the stream. Let me just make sure the source is working here. There we go. All right, so we're back. Um, basically, we we just missed out on placing the gate and stuff, you know, and the trees. That we can, we you know, that's not an issue. That's not an issue at all. Fishing dock we were going to put over here wherever we could, which I think is there. And then we need to put in a boat builder because a fishing dock will not work without somebody to build and maintain its boats. That is there. And we also need a carpentry to maintain the carts around town here. So we will literally try and put that in there if we can. There we go. Fantastic. So yeah, we've got most of the tents moved out now. Did I never give you a bench? That's not very nice of me, was it? Here I am, supposed to be benevolent, you know, and give you exactly what you need to survive, and I missed out giving you one of these. It's like the most vital thing is a bench. So there you go, have a bench. All houses now built, fantastic. So we need to start thinking and thinking about the next uh, the next things that we need which will be a trading post which we'll probably have up this side of town but yeah we'll probably have that up here Gee, if we can put that like as an entrance to the town maybe I don't know if we can let's see exactly what we can do here can we Oh, look at that. I mean, that is like almost a perfect town entrance. That's fantastic. And then eventually all of the, all these buildings will move. The clay pit will never, will never move, unfortunately. So the houses will just have to go in front of it. It is what it is. Um, the boatyard's there, isn't it? Yeah. So can I move? So now that I know where the boatyard's going to be, I might move the... Ta the um, Factory to, I can't speak apparently, to uh, to bless that, yeah. So we won't have the factory there, but we will have the factory built. And we, the cart park is, that's fine now. Yeah, the cart park is fine now. So they're now working on the factory. They can't find wood. Well, I'm sure they can. My wood people need to work on wood, basically. But, you know, we're getting there. That's the main thing. Cannot find wood anywhere. Well, going to work. S saving the chop. So you've got wood. Have you? Yeah. So, saving. So wood logs for wood, waiting for a partner chopping tree. 
Alright, well we're gonna have to get more people on the on the wood the woodery the forestry. But we at least have a functional town here. Which is absolutely fabulous. That we have a functional town with a farm being built right now. Look at that. And then I would like to remove these trees here if I can. Um, just the ones in front of the farm because I'm going to I'm going to replant this and make it like a proper little lane and have it all sweet and nice basically. I feel like I can't do that if the trees are in the way. So we will just get rid of those trees. There we are, there's the end of the season. So what we'll do is we'll take that down as close as we can to the to the waterfront here. Like so. Thank you. Now what we'll do is we'll uh what's to say we'll make a we we'll make a little lane or something into the farm if I can without it being too much of an issue. Fence four. Can I? Can I? Can I? There we go. And then in that little lane, we'll have a couple of benches as well. Um, just because we can, you know, we'll make this look nice. Sometimes it is literally about decoration to make things, yeah, to make to make things look villagey and proper. We we'll have a couple of trees, spruce trees seems to be the one we're having, so that's what we'll do. And again, we'll, we'll do the same over here. Just to make it look nice. It's about every second post. All right, that bench there is useless, so it's gone. What's that waiting on? Thatch, okay. Well, they're working on it. They're working on it. And then it's both the boat things, the carpentry and the trading post. You know what? It's time to add a worker to the smithy and decrease the builders by one. Because, yeah, the smithy needs to... Uh, Needs to get working. Where's what are you waiting on? Still thatch. How much more thatch are you short? Sure? Sixty. Uh, yeah, it's there. I can see it's there. It's just there. We go. Right. So we'll put in our fields next. Um, is 50 if we can 50 is the maximum size of field you can do Fifty. Five forty-nine. 49 that one that's too short is it yeah there we go. It's really annoying because um, it's really difficult to do getting these fields straight. It's very fiddly. Uh, there we go. 50 by not 50. Alright, so it's going to have to go that way slightly, I think. Give us 50 by. Oh, 
49. Come on. There we go. Slightly a, a, So our second field is going to be potatoes. We're going to want some people to manage these fields. We are going to have a third field, but it's not going to be done yet. Um, 49.50 by 50. Uh, by 50 by 32, that's a bit annoying. Come on. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. There we go, three fields, lovely. That's all we wanted. And then we're going to have to do it like that. Our third field's not ready. You're going to do nothing in your second here. You're going to do potatoes. You're going to do wheat and potatoes. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. See? And now they're building that as well. And our fishing dock is done. So we'll make sure we can get at least one worker in there. And one more. So we'll get one worker in there. So we'll decrease by two workers. To hopefully enable us to uh, do some fishing. So say when we get more houses and more people, this will be a lot easier. Uh, the factory is going to have to move again. So I've just realised it's not in the right place at all. It's right in the way of um. Yeah, it's right in the way really. No, oh, no, I need to empty it. Okay, make empty. Really, make empty. New factory needs to be built first. No one's in there. No one. One person in there. Why is nobody in there though? No one's unemployed, right? No, no one's unemployed. So might have to go down to two builders. That's okay though. We can go down to two builders without too many issues. And the third field's not in use this year, so it doesn't matter. Um, it's not built. Doesn't matter at all. As long as they get the rest of this stuff built, that's the main thing. A new factory is being built now. Lovely. The old cart park can go. Because we have the new one. And we can just start getting rid of some of these. And I think that is a good place to end the episode. Uh, they don't need a campfire. I'll keep the well for now because they might need that. Definitely keep the storage for now until we get better. But yeah, we got a farm. We got people working the farm. We got fields being sown. People have got gardens that they're taking care of, I guess. When they get five minutes to take care of those gardens that's what they're doing uh, the old factory is down the new factory is almost up the new factory is up again it's not hiring men it's only hiring women have you got a vote yet no are you building a vote though yes this is fantastic where are you actually you're taking rest okay now you're going to work there you are uh, yeah there He's making nails, just give him time. Look at that. Look at that. What a fantastic man. Now he's going to deliver it to the fisher. Who's going to go fishing? There we go. Look at that. He's going to have to walk back though. It's a shame the fisher doesn't give him a lift back, but I guess it is what it is. He's got two more boats to build, so he'll happily get on with those. Yeah, like I said, the farm has happily been built here. You can see that it's been sown. This one's been sown as well. And now they're starting to remove the trees for the next one. Oh, look at that. The carpenter's being built. How far is that off being built now? It's done. So we need to ideally get a person in there. Um, 
but we haven't got anyone spare so we can't do it yet so what we're gonna need is more housing that's the long and short of it it's gonna be a house with a garden again it's gonna literally be no. will you not let me okay I may have to stop building that a minute to get the housing in then once I've got the housing then we'll be all right T no okay is that the housing in yeah pretty much isn't it okay and then hopefully we can get the trading post in there we get that there oh because of that okay well make these empty come on yes make empty thank you we'll get a couple of houses in I think Only three maybe four oh, I can't get four and I can only get three and okay that's fine it is what it is right um, we're waiting for FIFA to make the make the storage empty there We got a worker in the carpentry now, so hopefully the carts will be fine and looked after. Everyone's got a garden. Yeah, so yeah, this is a good place to end the episode. Right here, everyone has a garden, stuff's being built. And when we come back, it will be farming season. So um, yeah, we'll leave it here. It's been a fantastic episode. I appreciate all of you liking subscribing commenting um the only thing i'm going to quickly put in if i can find it it's a market it's a market stall i'm literally going to put that next to the cart shack and it's going to serve um firewood flour potatoes for now all right, I will save this and make sure that it's, um, it's saved. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.